All right, parents, welcome to our next episode of Shaping Arrows. Uh, we're so glad that you're here. I'm Brant Gordon, and on Shaping Arrows, uh, we want to give parents quick encouragements and how-tos to making disciples in your home. We're glad that you're with us, checking it out. Uh, this week, uh, we're talking about a very, very easy topic, and that's the topic of discipline, right? Um, one that we don't have any struggles with. Um, now, I'm sure you're leaning into this just like I am. Uh, we're privileged to have Flossie um, Castle on our uh, Shaping Arrows episode uh, this week. Flossie, welcome to, to Shaping Arrows. And uh, if those of you that don't know Flossie, Flossie is uh, one of our members here at Mercy Hill. Uh, Flossie has four kids and has 11 grandkids. And uh, Flossie, we're really excited just because this week we heard uh, that one of your grandkids actually placed faith in Christ. And uh, we just celebrate that with you. Um, Flossie is a joy to be around, and uh, it's just awesome to see how God has used her um, in discipling her kids and grandkids now. So, Flossie, I got a, got a really easy question for you to get started with. Uh, share with us, if you don't mind, uh, one of your greatest struggles in parenting as it relates to discipline. Yeah, Brant, one of the things I struggled with the most in raising my children is just basically holding them to a higher standard than I held for myself. And just um, really coming down hard when they had repeated discipline issues on the same, on the same issue. And uh, you know, it, it led to a lot of anger because what I was basically doing was viewing them as, or viewing myself as, as greater than them. That, um, you know, like, how could you do that? How could you hit your brother for the third time in a row after I just disciplined you for it? And, and you know, just looking at them horrified we're incensed that our kids could possibly sin in that way and then we realize we do this every day with the Lord basically we are continuing to the same sin and and we're supposed to be the mature believers we're supposed to be the ones who've been growing in our faith for years you know and and what what I realized after lots of failure in this area quite honestly is that the root of all this in my heart and in my life is pride. It's really just coming to that realization that I'm blind to my own sin and that I want to put um, guilt and shame on my children instead of realizing that I am, am susceptible to the same types of sin, that in actuality, I am more like my children than unlike them. And so just coming to that point of repentance where I need to realize that, you know, I'm the sinner here. I am the one whose heart is really in trouble and I'm the representative to my children of God in their life. And so am I going to be able to represent God well by having my heart purified before the Lord and confessing that sin and therefore leading them into the way that they deal with their own sin? Yeah. Wow. That. Yeah, that we could end right there. That's uh, that's that's preachy, as I say. It's uh, that's really that's super helpful, um, convicting to me as a parent too. Um, so Flossie, with, with our parents out there, what would you share? Um, maybe maybe one or two resources that really helped you in your framework um, or help other parents in their framework too for discipline. Yeah, I wish I had been able to read these books back at the beginning of my parenting because I just didn't know about them. I wasn't in circles where those things were being taught, but I would highly recommend um, both of Ted Tripp's books, um, Shepherding a Child's Heart and Instructing a Child's Heart. And also, if you have children that are, I would say, eight to 10, you need to start reading Age of Opportunity. Uh, by Paul Tripp. It is just really, really practical, gives tons of of foundational truth and then also um, examples of how to put it in action in your children's life to guide them through those teenage years and heading them off into adulthood. And I love the Risen Motherhood podcast. It's a daily podcast. It's uh, 15 to 20 minutes long. So you might have to carve that time out away from your kids or stick your earbuds in while you're doing dishes, but very, very worthwhile. Such an encouragement to moms especially. And I would recommend those. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for that. The, um, last question for you. So what are like, you know, we want to get super practical, quick how to's for parents. Um, I know discipline's a huge, like there's a huge range of things that you could talk about um, related to discipline. But um, if you had to give like one or two action steps, you say, Hey parents, you can do this today. You can start this today. 
what are one or two action steps or encouragements that you would offer to parents? Yeah, so in, 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 refer in reference to what I shared as my struggle, um, I would say that when you're in those moments with your kids where you feel that anger rising up in you, that you ask yourself the hard questions that need to be asked about where that anger is coming from, that you even take some time away from them, set them aside for a moment to be able to get with the Lord or do that work beforehand, as you're coming to know yourself, then you can do that more before the encounters with your kids. And then when you sit down with them to deal with them uh, on those matters, to ask them, um, ha learn to ask good heart revealing questions of them rather than pointing a finger in judgment. This is parenting alongside our kids instead of over them and lording our authority. We do have authority in their lives, but when we lord it over them, we make it as though we are better than them and we're not. And so to be able to come alongside our kids and say, listen, I just want you to know, especially in the three to five year range where they are going through so many behaviors that are not necessarily malicious, they're just childish and they forget that you told them not to do that. And they just, I have three grandsons right now that are exactly in that place. And their parents are just wanting to pull their hair out because they, they really aren't intending all this evil, but it comes out as repeated disobedience, even to the point of hurting themselves and others. And so we have to be able to sit with them and patiently get eye contact, make sure they're looking at us, get them away from distractions so they can focus on that on us and sit down and talk to them hey buddy what were you thinking about when you hit your sister what did you want when you grabbed that thing from your from your friend what were you wanting in that moment and in those areas we're getting them to begin the process of looking inside their own hearts to understand what the motives are for their sin and for their disobedience and then in the older children, man, this is a great opportunity to sit down with them and ask those hard questions that will address their heart. Because we want our kids to go away from our homes, understanding how to process their own hearts and their own sin with the Lord. We don't want them to have to depend on us telling them, you did this wrong, you are this. We want them to process themselves. So we're working them towards independence by this. That's so helpful, Flossie. And, and I think, too, I mean, maybe you're a parent watching and you're like, hey, like I've got, you know, 13, 14, maybe 16, 17 year olds, and I haven't done this all along. And, you know, how do I start now? And I, I think what you said is just so helpful that that we can even in humility come to our kids and, and our older kids and say, hey, we know we haven't necessarily done this well, um, but we desire this for you. Um, and, and then begin to ask those questions. And set a new practice in our lives. And, and there's, no, there's no age that we're too, it's, it's too late to begin this. Um, and so I think, you know, for parents that are out there, um, you know, what do you find most difficult in, in disciplining your kids? And, you know, we'd love to start that conversation with you. Uh, and, you know, feel free to share that in the comments. Uh, we'd love to talk with you about it uh, and, and love to see, you know, God grow all of us in, in discipline our kids. We're so grateful, Flossie, for you coming on. Uh, to our series uh, today and grateful for the insight that you have offered. Um, and just want to tell you too, parents, you know, we, we want to continue these conversations. Uh, maybe there's something that you want to talk about. There's a subject that you're like, hey, I'm struggling with this, or maybe I'd like to talk about this in a little more detail. Um, parents, we want to talk about what is helpful to you. So comment, let us know what are the things that you want to talk about? What are the things that you want to hear about on Shaping Arrows? Uh, and we will see you guys next week. I'll tell you this though, before you leave, um, if this content was helpful to you, please share it with others. Um, that is how um, more and more people um, hear about what God is doing here and hear these wonderful um, equipping uh, opportunities from different teachers in our church. Uh, and so if this is helpful to you, share it with somebody else. Uh, and we encourage you also like and comment uh, with what's going on here on Shaping Arrows. We will see you guys next time. Thanks for being here.